Yo, hey, what's up everyone? This video, we're gonna be talking about arrays and we're gonna be going over the concept for this and then we'll go into the hands-on practical part of this. So that's what I'm going to be doing going forward just to break out uh, complex topics into more videos so we can have a better understanding as we go through this series. So rather than just trying to get arrays all in one video in one sitting, we're gonna go over the concepts and then follow up with the hands-on. So consider this. Yeah. And with that, let's get started, but first check out our sponsor. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So we're gonna be talking about arrays and the purpose of an array is essentially to act as a collection, a group of things. So for example, if you needed to store multiple things, you might try using numerous variables such as this. So for example, if you needed to store multiple grades for a student in a class, you might use grade one, grade two, grade three, and try to keep track of all that. The problem with this though is it's messy, lots to keep track of, and there's no grouping. Arrays fix this problem. So instead of having numerous grades, you could just have grades, and this would refer to numerous grades. So let's talk about how to create an array. To create an array, you say what type of information you want to store. In this case, we're going to work with integers. Then you put square brackets, and that's how you indicate that it's an array. Then you give it a name, so you put the identifier. Grades. So this declares the array, but we actually have to initialize it by saying equals new int square brackets, and then we give it a size such as 10. So here's how we create an array of 10 elements. It's gonna look something like this. So each spot is going to contain an element. What kind of element? An integer. So for example, you could have six, five, 31, 100, and so forth. Now each spot is also going to have what's known as an index. It's basically a way to reference which spot we're talking about. So for example, you could say, I want to reference this spot. The indexes start at zero, so it's going to go zero, one, two, three, four. Four, index four would refer to right here. And the way you access that spot is by saying grades, then square brackets, four. So you can put the index inside of the square brackets there to refer to a specific position. Here you can assign it a value, or you could just use grades index four as an integer, passing it to a method, or using it inside of an expression. We can programmatically get the length of the array using a property. So that's going to look like this. Grades dot length. And I think it's a capital L there. You don't use parentheses, you just use it as this. And that's going to basically give us the value 10. So you could use this for loops and so forth. So that's your introduction to arrays. Follow on to the next video where we're going to get hands-on practice creating these arrays and working with them. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, hit that sub button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.